Hey guys, I'm back with another video. Today I'm going to show you how you can interface the RFM95 LoRa module with Arduino. It's a transceiver module because it can send and receive data at the same time. Here it is a simple demonstration by making a LoRa sender and a receiver to send packets. These packets will be received by a LoRa receiver and display it on I2C LCD display. Let's hear what LoRa is. LoRa stands for long range. Since the name suggests, the LoRa has a long range for communication. In the sense, it can send small packet values of the sensor to long distances. The display will show the data which has been received by the LoRa. I have also attached two LEDs for the LoRa sender. One is a green and another one is a red. The green LED will indicate the LoRa has successfully sent the packets. Red LED will show if we do have some errors. This video is sponsored by Thomson Electronics. They are the best dealers in commercial supplies of electronic components in India with high quality products and a wide variety of category to choose from. Then I gathered all the parts for making the project. We need to make a breakout for the LoRa. Since the module is not breadboard friendly, let's do that anyway but keep a note on pins which we need to wire later. Then I placed the RFM95 LoRa module on the helping hands and started hooking small wires from the electrically insulated wires. The idea which we gonna convey is we will make solder joints with all the points via wires and place the module on some kind of dotted PCB for easy interface of the module. While soldering, do not overheat the pad. As you can see, I have attached wires to all the pads of the LoRa. Then inserted wires through the dotted PCB holes. Make sure to use a slightly bigger PCB than LoRa since we need to place all the header pins after. It do need some space. Then solder down the wire contact points. Only tap a small amount of solder. Then I attach two male headers to the LoRa. After that I solder the male header points. We would require two LoRa modules this way and also have attached the antenna for the module. After that I have placed the Arduino Nano. Then the LoRa module. Then I hooked wires to the LoRa module. This is the antenna wire for the RFM95 LoRa module. Simply you can hook a wire. Here I am using a jumper wire. Later going on, I have attached wires to Arduino and LoRa module. But don't worry, you can get the schematics from link in the video description. The LoRa works on XPA communication. We would require 10, 11, 12 and 13 pins of the Arduino. I am using Arduino Nano to reduce the space of the project. This is the Arduino code for the LoRa sender. As you can see, first I have included certain libraries, the SPA library and LoRa library. Then I initialize the counter, the sender LEDs and the error LEDs. And also define the pins it would be connected. It would be the digital pins 0, 5 and 6. After that we enter the void setup. Inside the void setup, we begin the serial board at 9600. And we begin the serial, as you can see while serial. If serial is present, then we print LoRa sender in the serial. Then we make the pin mode as output for LEDs and digital write the LEDs as low. Then we begin the LoRa as 915E6 MHz. And if the LoRa does not start, we will hide the error LED for a delay of 2 seconds. And we keep on checking that. After that we enter the volt loop. Inside the volt loop, first we digital write the sender LED and error LEDs as low. Then we serial print sending packet. And we serial print the counter. After that we begin the packet for LoRa. Then we will print the LoRa like which message if you want to send. After that if LoRa has been sent, we will digital write the LED high. You can change the text message over here. You can make here I am typing it as hello from LoRa. You can change it to any text. 
After that, we initialize the center LEDs as high for a delay of 500. Then we digital write the center LED to low. Then we LoRa dot print counter and the counter will plus plus like add up. After would have a delay of two seconds. This is the LoRa receiver code for Arduino. As you can see, first of all, I included certain libraries. Here we are including the Liquid Crystal I2C library. Then I initialize the Liquid Crystal library, the Liquid Crystal address and rows and columns. After that, we begin the void setup. Inside the void setup, we begin the serial function as we have discussed earlier. And while the serial has been present, and we set the cursor to 0, 0, initial position and we print on the display as LoRa receiver at a delay of 2.5 seconds and we clear the LCD and we print LoRa receiver and we begin the LoRa receiver at a megahertz of 915E6 if LoRa does not begin we will serial print as LoRa failed then we begin the void loop section inside that first we clear the LCD display and we initialize the packet size which has been received by the LoRa. Then we serial print the received packet which has been got from the LoRa. And while LoRa dot available, we serial print which packet has been received into character. And the LoRa would read the package and LCD will print the package. That's the function which is happening here. Then we begin the serial dot print with RSSI like the signal strength of the LoRa under a delay of 2 seconds. This is the LoRa receiver code. Let's upload it. This is how you can interface LoRa module with Arduino. It's that so simple. We will make more projects in the future with LoRa. It is one of the best upcoming technologies. I hope you like the video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe.